you studied how to insert geometry constraints in a drawing in the last class. However, in order to completely define a part, you need to apply other constraints, which are dimensional constraints. So in this class, you will study how to insert dimensional constraints in a project and learn about the benefits of using these types of constraints. Let's begin the class. Open this file to study these tools. Go to the Dimensional panel and the Parametric tab to use the Geometric Constraint Tools as well as Dimensional Constraint Tools. The purpose of linear, horizontal and vertical tools is to insert dimensions in straight elements placed on the vertical or horizontal plane. The difference between these tools is that linear can be applied to the placement of vertical as well as horizontal entities. However, horizontal and vertical tools are specified by the respective geometry type as their name state. See how it is applied. Now let's study about the Align tool. This tool also inserts dimensions in linear elements, however in entities placed at non-90 degree angles. It is quite simple to apply this tool. Just enable and select two points or an object as we see here. The radial and diameter tools are used for measuring circumferences and arcs. The radial tool is for dimensioning radii and diameter is used for circumference diameters. The angular tool is used for measuring angles. It is quite simple to use. Just enable the tool and select the two preferred elements as shown. You need to insert the measurement and then change the entity measurement value to all these types of dimensional constraints. See, for this reason you double-click the measurement and change its value as you like. If there are traditional dimensions in the drawing, you can still convert them to parametric dimensions using the Convert tool. Let's enable the tool and select the desired dimension to do this. Then you specify the dimension value. Just add numerical values as well as insert expressions to get measurement values for different elements. You can even relate a dimensional constraint to other measurements. These definitions will be introduced in greater detail throughout the course. So in this class you have studied how to insert dimension constraints in a drawing to facilitate your design dimensions.